Suffice it to say, nobody there was happy to see me. In fact, I felt a certain hostility. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. I felt a bolt of adrenaline, or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his tricks, and I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. That man was faster than Grease Lightning, but being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back in a saloon, just like this one. Anybody up for another beer? Ben? Thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, do you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head, and that's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high, they tickled the nether regions of heaven. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony, and the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger, as there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him.
They saw me before I saw them. They saw me before I saw them. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea, but now that the shooting has started, there was no backing down. It was rugged country, the winter home of the Cherokawas, and that's why they had retreated there. to having some regrets about going after them the way I did. But then again, I got a lot of those.
deep crevice that led to a deeper cave. Don't tell me you went in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure, angry cussedness. See, back then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide, and I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit, as they had torches on the walls. Was his cave? Big as hell, Ben. Chiricahua had hid out there during the Indian Wars. <laughs> 